Hi, hi you guys, Eel Softman here. Well, just got back from watching that Andy Murray tennis match. Four hours long. He kept us going for four hours. My God, he better be winning the next match in like an hour and a half. Quick. <laughs> if you don't get that, it's a tennis match and at Wimbledon. Eh, too strong. I really like it. All right. I didn't put up, uh, sorry for not putting up a video yesterday, really tired. And I'm trying, like, don't want to put videos up on nights I work like nine hour shifts because I just come back exhausted and they'll never be that great. I, I'm going to try a few new things with the game videos because I know they're pretty dark at the moment and they don't look especially great. They look quite smooth, don't get me wrong on that, but um, definitely have to get the light up. I was just worried if I put the light up, it would like, especially when them bits, but I might actually leave the light on next time for and see if that actually negates the problem a bit because it seems to be these videos don't have any of these problems so i'm thinking maybe it's just that or maybe the camera's a little bit too far away or something i don't know i'll be trying a few little things tester things and then i'll put up a proper one while i've figured out what exactly to do all right well i give a few shout outs to a few people that's uh, fat funk because he always comments on my vids and i always enjoy them he's got a great few little vids i like the one today with all these like Illegal Famicom games. Got to be funny. There's got to be some stupidly funny little mods, especially after looking at Tanuki's ones. I want to give out a shout out to Lefarious because he always comments on my vids and I always enjoy them. I have a look at his vids because he's got a lot of great games. A lot of great games. His video quality is a hell of a lot better than mine. He's got a lot better systems than mine as well. Um, I'll give a shout out to SuperDan88 just so... Give him some love because he really needs it after the day he's had today. Uh, right. And Ian Wilson, I will figure out exactly what you're ordering before you get it. I think I have an idea. But, meh. We'll let it slide. Right. I thought we'd do today, we'd do my PS2 collection. And as my PS1 collection is really short, we'll do that as well. My PS1 collection is basically every car has something wrong with it. Broken, like the box or something. Don't know, <laughs> don't ask. Right, the first game I'm going to show, Time Crisis 3. I really, really like the arcade version of this game. So I went out and I bought the gun and I bought the whole thing for it. And it's, it is really good, especially the fact that you, you keep on getting continuous, conti well, unlimited continues. Really fun little game to play. Thought about picking up the PS3 version for Time Crisis 4, but don't know if I want to pick up another gun and another thing again. Don't usually play Time Crisis 3 all that much. Another game. Kingdom Hearts. Now I'm a big fan of the Kingdom Hearts series. Though I have yet to actually complete either of them. It's just... Uh, I don't know. I think I got to... What was it? The Little Mermaid World. And I got really bogged down with trying to get through that. It, the controls were a bit iffy at that point. For that world. I don't know what it was. And then defeating Ursula and having to go through that whole thing, it drained me of it. I think I should go back because I think I'm pa I'm past it now, but I think it sullied it a bit for me at the time. And then two, I wanted to complete one before I did two. That was the reason I never did, really got any further in two. Right, another game. Oh, Kami. Now this was a game that I was enjoying a hell of a lot more than I was enjoying the new Wii Zelda or the Twilight Princess one. And then... I stopped for reasons. I really like that game. I might put a game video for that actually, because I love that game. A game I picked up really cheap in Virgin before it went bust. Right, this is One Piece Grand Battle. Now I really love One Piece. It's my favourite anime ever. It overtook like Dragon Ball Z, Bleach, like these loads, these Shonen One, Rooney Kenshin. Um, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Yu Hakushu, just off the stuff from. Uh, vids today um, other stuff I'm going to do a video of my anime collection just so you can see exactly what I'm into and all that a lot of it's like shonen a little bit of harem for um, a little bit a lot of funny stuff a lot of really mucked up stuff and I've got other stuff that I want to get that I've seen before that is really mucked up alright another game uh, Tekken 5 
Now I bought this because I was a really, really big fan of Tekken 3 for the PS1. And I actually had a copy, but it was in my common room in my uni, uh, not my uni, in my high school. And somebody borrowed it and then high school ended and I never got it back. Which is annoying because I really love Tekken 3. But I had a fully complete file on it. I still have the save file. Just get a new copy, I suppose. All right. Now the anime comes in full circle. Let's see. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi. I didn't like this as much as the original Budokai series. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that in another vid. It was a bit weird. Some of it, it worked better, especially like the flying and that, but it felt really repetitive and the attacks didn't seem all that unique. Everything seemed very similar. I didn't really like that. It just didn't feel like any attack didn't feel as important as in like the later Budokai series where they were awesome. Right, a game I've hardly ever played and will shock a lot of people for that. Final Fantasy X. <laughs> um, I've played like three and a half hours of it. And I've... <laughs> um, there's a game I, I really should get into. There's a lot of games actually you'll find from my whole collection as a whole that I've never put the time in that I really should have. I seem to like playing RPGs better on the DS or something handheld than I do on my console because I find that even like action RPGs, I preferred playing uh, Fat Marglass to Twilight Princess. Eh, something nope. Uh, there we go for Kingdom Hearts 2. Oh, it's shiny. I could push it back a little bit. There we go. Nice little cover though. Everything's in there. Mm. I think I bought that quite close to release. One of my favourite games on the PS2, what, Bit of Guy 3. This is, in my opinion, the best one. I think they did like an overall combination one for the PS2 after that, but I think that's the definitive one. That's the one to get. It's got, it's ironed out all the kinks from the first two, and it basically is the best in the lot. Has all the great characters in it. I like to play as Vegeta or Kid Gohan. It probably tells you that Team Gohan saga at the end of the Cell Games is my favourite saga in the whole of Dragon Ball Z. Right. This is a game that I don't actually didn't actually bought, but I have somehow acquired. Uh, my mate Dwayne bought this. There's another game actually in my PS1 collection he bought, and it's somehow just been left with me. This is a Street Fighter anthology for the PS. This has 1, 2 and 3 and I was a big big fan of 3 and well we'll go up to that quickly anyway. That's my copy of Street Fighter Alpha 3 and it's damaged to high hell. But like I was saying to Super Dan in my comments the other day, it is one of my favourite fighting games. It's my favourite Street Fighter game above all and I love Alpha, Alpha 3 or Zero 3 in Japan. And if I could get Sega Saturn copying, because that is meant to be the best version of the game. Mint condition, I think I would go for it. Oh, we're getting close. Right, after my wrestling vid the other day. Smackdown, here comes the pain. Yeah. I'm not the biggest fan of the Smackdown series, to be fairly honest. My favourite game, wrestling game of all time, was No Mercy on the N64. Or Royal Rumble on the Mega Drive. I, I'm not the biggest fan. I don't think they've ever progressed it. I think they've actually got lazier as the each uh, versions come out. What was it like? The 2008 one I've got for the 360. And it's like eight archetypes. And if you don't have... Uh, and th that's all the moves. It's no like different original moves for each character. It's like you're stuck in the archetype and then finisher. And I thought that's really lazy. Oh, we're up to nine minutes. I've got to speed this up. Right. Two of my favourite games. Burnout 3 Takedown and Burnout Revenge. Looked to the video on Burnout Revenge for the 360. I uh, really, really love that game. I really love 3. I played 3 to death. And I, both of them I really love. I really love Burnout Paradise as well on the 360. And i debating whether or not to get the Big Island update. I might do it. Depends. All right, we're into the PlayStation games. It's Dino Crisis. 
which I got a demo of somewhere else and I really liked it so I've picked it up but I haven't really got to play it yet. Uh, this is the other game that Dwayne left it. This is Space Hulk, a Warhammer game. I quite like all the lore of Warhammer but I've never been able to get into one of the games yet. Oh crap, we've got to like really quick this up. Right, next of them are all Final Fantasy games. Final Fantasy 9, 8, Eight's original box, sorry, which is really awesome with everyone's of platinum collections. Final Fantasy 6, my favourite Final Fantasy. And Final Fantasy 7. Alright, I'll be back with another video soon. I probably will do a gameplay vid of something. And we'll see you later. This is Evil Sloth Man, out.